Now then, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video fitting the new mud guards to the Travan. <laughs> Traban RC500 on the stand. You saw my unboxing video the other day. We've ended up with these mud guards from Crud, the Mark III Road Racer. They fit on via Velcro pads. And these fit onto the chain stay, uh, sorry, onto the seat stays and onto the front forks. One thing I have noticed is, and it might be a problem, is the seat stays. The seat stays triangle. And there's only a small space. Uh, to fit these velcro straps that go down, go down the seat stays to hold them in place So we'll see I'm going to start with the rear One first because that's the one that looks as though it may present the may present the Okay in the box we get some alcohol wipes oh, Jesus Christ Give the steel work a bit of it or give the metal work a bit of a clean for I've just washed this bike. Put it on the side. Like I've said already, they're held on with these Velcro strips. Quite heavy duty Velcro by the looks of it. But the area that we've got to stick to down the seat stay, because these seat stays are triangular. We're going to run out of space. So, fingers crossed. So what we have to do is stick it on and line up where we want the Velcro strips to be. The Velcro wants to be We'll see. Tuck on the other side. Thank you, boys. Nice That's fun. You can just about see those. Yeah. The, this is the extension bit. The extension bit goes right back down, right down to the behind the, uh, the chain set, uh, and that's held on with a nut and a screw. Okay, so the front section of the rear guard is in place, and we now have a zip tie. A reusable zip tie apparently. There's two slots in the front section of the mud guard, which again would have been handy if I threaded this through before putting it in place. Okay, now that I've knit one, pulled one and got the actual zip tie through, this pulls the front section away from the tire. Still have a bit of rub up top, so we need to adjust and move. I 
Right. Hmm. I've got it fairly rolling freely. The only thing with it is that it takes a lot of uh, a lot of messing around with the velcro. The problem with this is that there's nowhere there's very little purchase, there's no very little area to stick the velcro to because of the triangular shape of the seat stay. Um, so when you try and adjust and you pull it free, it's tearing the, the velcro from the seat stay. But at the moment, that's oh, really fairly freely. Right, after a little coffee break, we crack on with the front one. Again, it's the Velcro strips down just inside of the fork. So we've got our alcohol wipe. Give it a bit of a clean. Incidentally, the noise you can hear is a football match. Playing fields is over there. I just thought, I thought about that before coming out here. Put one again as an extension piece. It clicks into place. Bit of uh, self adhesive. It says hold for 20 seconds. Front one fitted. Ooh. So that's it. We'll see how they go, see how they work, see if they work all right. A couple of little issues. But there we go. There's the crud Mark III road race and guards on the Trivan RC500. Anyway, I'm going to go. Take care, stay safe, enjoy your cycling or whatever it is you get up to, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Say hello to Dyson in the background. Video bombing. See you in the next video.